With that said, mazeni mefurai sana ku invite our next guest here on set, Alex Mwakideo. Karibu sana. Eh, jina kubwa yani. Asante, mambo vipi? Hey, na, na, na salama, salama. Na, na sikia ni mebarikiwa sana. Na wana ume switch kwa kiswahili vizuri, smoothly kabisa. <laughs> <laughs> imebidi, imebidi. <laughs> uh, safi sana, mefurai. Asante, Asante kwa kuja. Asante kwa kunialika na shukuru. Ah, Mezuwe ya radio, angalau TV pia ni unekane. Ni hey, unekane. watu wajue sauti hey. wanayosikia, sasa mtu anakaaji. I'm telling you. Hey, it's good to have you here man Thank you. now tell me you of course alex markida is a, a radio guru if we can just call you that eh? how long have you been doing radio radio long time since 2004 yeah since 2004 that's almost 16 years eh, na ni eh? <laughs> for the many years i've done radio it's a tisa Alam ikilia wa nimeset moja tu. Sitaki alam nyingi ati one alam and then after five minutes another. No, 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 no. Uh -huh. Alam ya kwanza ikilia nisha bumburuka, nisha muka, nisha ka, uh -huh. nisha piga sala, nisha ingia pale batru, uh -huh. nisha oga nini nini, nisha mpiga mki wangu mabusu kadha wa kadha pale ya kumambia kwa heri na kumtakia kila la heri. Nisha piga breakfast, nisha toka. Baisa kumi wow. wanatakana ni wanimekaa. Ok. Nimekaa pale tayari na nikona two hours za kuprepare show yangu. Na usiku basi walala sangapi? Usikuwa ina depend kusema kweli. Kuna wakati na lala tasa mbili. Kuna ah. wakati mara nyingi na lala sane okay. baada ya habari za saa tatu. Okay. Ndo nitalala pale. Lakini wakati mwingine mwili unachoka tu. Uh -huh. Katika wiki utakuta alhamisi imefika, nimechoka, nimepiga shughuli zangu by saa tisa ni kwenye mbani. Yeah. Nipige shuka kama masama wili hivi. Okay. Alafu ni yamke tena, nile sapa, ni lale. Kwa hiyo ina depend tu na mwili wangu na jisikia na mna gani. Na, na kwa wale wenye at some point in time wangependa nao basi pia wakue Eh, presenters yani kwa radio what mm. would be your advice to them ni nini unasema imekuweka huu wakati wote lazima kwanza uende shule usome radio utangazaji lazima usome ukiusomea ni muhimu tu upate yale masomo ya shuleni kisha baada ya pale kuna umuhimu pia kufanya mazoezi na kuwa na mtu ambaye labda unamwangalia mm -hmm. eh, wewe mentor wako ni nani uwe na mentor fulani ambaye unaweza kuongea naye na umsikilize mm -hmm. na hali kadhalika pia usikilize watu kadhaa mimi nilikuwa nikikuwa nasikiliza watu kadhaa ambao mm -hmm. nilikuwa nawapenda katika utangazaji nikawa nasema tena wengine walikuwa wa Kiingereza watangazaji wa Kiingereza kabisa mm -hmm. lakini mimi nilikuwa nasema huyu ni mzuri sana nataka niwe kama huyu lakini wa Kiswahili mm -hmm. niwe sasa mimi ni huyu wa Kiswahili kisha niongeze mahanjam na mahanjumati yangu kidogo pale <laughs> eh, ndo Alex Mwakidewa atokeleze <laughs> kwa hiyo lazima pia wewe ufanye vitu kama hivi na kazi waifanya vizuri Asante kazi waifanya vizuri basi um, of course alia so this year you yeah. turned 40 Yes yes yes. Mazee bado na kaya yang tak. Eh? Bado na kaya yang tak. Lazima like, utupe hii skin care regimen tunaiona ina. Eh. Inakufaa vizuri. Eh mwaka huu tarehe 6 niliingiza miaka 40. Okay. Nilikuwa na mpango mkubwa sana wa ipa. Tuliona. <laughs> Tuliona heri ati wa, walipisha watu eh, 40,000 bob. Ah, hamna hamna. Hamna hamna. <laughs> Yale ni majaba cheche. Sikuachezea mimi. Eh. Mimi siku post ile posta. Ni marafiki zangu tu ambao walianzisha ile ile mambo tu mitandaoni. Marafiki uh -huh. zangu wa karibu. Uh -huh. Waliamua na wakaanza na waka post na wakaenda na hiyo story kabisa. <laughs> Mimi nilikuwa ni kuamboseli na familia yangu. Nilikuwa kuamboseli na familia yangu yote. <laughs> Tulikwenda kusherekea birthday ya miaka 40 kule Mstuni, tukakaa kule paka tukamaliza weekend, tukarudi nyumbani. Uh -huh. Mimi ni mtu familia sana. Sasa so ile ilikuwa inaendelea tu hiyo hadithi <laughs> na hiyo na mtandaoni mimi. Uh -huh. Mpaka watu wanaandika mabloga nani na mimi naona hadisi mtandaoni lakini kusema kweli sikuwa na pati yote kama hiyo na wala siwezi kufanya pati ya, <laughs> ya watu no, kuingia no. na shilingi 1040 no, jamani no. siwezi si Alex Mwakideo yule ehe uh -huh. ulikuwa tu na familia ulikuwa na familia yangu mimi ukiangalia wanyama nitukiangalia wanyama <laughs> sawa basi haya uh -huh. um uh, Alex pia umepitia majaribio kasi si wote wengine unajua sometimes i think when you're in media watu wanakuangalia like as if your life is just smooth and easy and that's not always true Kwele. right and tuseme last year ulikuwa mwaka mzito sana kwako Kwele. um tukianzia mwaka january 11th ulipoteza dadako mm. Eunice Mwakideo Emmy Emmy yeah. samahani Emmy Mwakideo yeah. Um alafu baadaye just a few months later in May you lost your mom. Mm. Um just talk to me about that time and it, it's it's hard to begin the year in that way. Yeah. Kweli, ah yeah. ilikuwa wakati mgumu kwa familia yetu nzima. Mm. Si kwangu peke yangu ilikuwa wakati mgumu sana. Mm -hmm. Kwanza dadangu alipoaga dunia, kwanza unajua dadangu yeye alikwenda Ulaya akiwa tukiwa 1995. Mm -hmm. alikwenda Ulaya 1995 kwa hiyo alishi Ulaya sana akawa ni Mjerumani, mm -hmm. akaishi Luxembourg, akawa ni mtu wa Luxembourg kabisa, okay. akawa na uraia wa kule kwa hiyo yeye alikuwa eh, amekaa mbali na sisi ingawa alikuwa anakuja mara kwa mara kuja kututembelea mm -hmm. 
na kukaa kama familia lakini ile kitu ambayo ilikuwa inatuma zaidi ni kwamba alikuwa mgonjwa na hatungekuwa na uwezo wa kuwa karibu naye mm. wakati yeye alikuwa na ugua na unajua mm. ya gadunia kwa sababu ya saratani mm. sasa ilikuwa kila siku tunaongea naye kwa simu mitandao kupitia video calls mpaka ikafikia wakati akawa hataki video call tena na oh. hataki picha tena mm. anaongea na wewe kwa sauti peke yake sasa mm. Ilikuwa inakutia wasiwasi kila siku kila asubuhi ukiamka unataka kujua anaendelea namna gani. Mm-hmm. Kwa hiyo ilikuwa wakati mgumu sana kwa familia yetu. Sana 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 sana. Mm-hmm. E, nakumbuka ile wakati e, um, usiku wa kuamkia siku alipoaga dunia ambapo mimi niliku, niliongea naye lakini hakuwa anaweza kuongea kabisa. Kakangu mmoja anaishi Ujerumani anaitwa Chris. Yeye alikuwa anamtembelea mara kwa mara. Kwa hiyo alikuwa kunaye wakati ule wote nikamwambia Chris mpatie simu nionge naye mm. akasema Chris kwamba hataweza kuongea sijui kama uta, uta, utakubali uendelee nikamwambia acha nionge naye hivyo hivyo hata kama hawezi kuongea mm. na mimi natanisikia mm. acha hata kama niombe naye tu kwa hiyo nika nikaomba naye mm-hmm. nikamwekea simu pale alikuwa anaitikia tu kwa sauti ile e, mimi nikawa naomba naye tukaomba naye paka tukamaliza e, tupumaliza basi nikakata simu na hata kuisa kuweza kuongea nami na ikawa wakati mgumu sana kwangu mm. wakati huo nika ilikuwa ngumu ilikuwa mm. ngumu sana mm. alafu kesho yake ndio Chris akatuambia kwamba ameaga dunia wow eh, kwa hivyo ilikuwa wakati mgumu sana mm. mamangu naye eh, miezi mitano tu baadaye mm. mamangu nilikuwa naishi naye mwenyewe nyumbani mm. kwa hiyo mimi ndo nilikuwa namuuguza pale nyumbani e, tuko tunakaa naye kwa hiyo kila siku nikiamka asubuhi hiyo saa tisa nikiongea lazima ni ende nyumbani katika chumba mm. chake pia mm. ni muangalie tu nijue kwamba yupo Mbakikisha. na bado tuko na siku nyingine moja no. nishukuru Mungu kwamba leo bado tuko naye kwa hiyo tulienda paka tukaongea na daktari mmoja hospitali moja tu hapa nzuri Nairobi mm-hmm. daktari mzuri sana anaitwa dr Weru namshukuru sana okay. kwa sababu alikuwa na wakati mzuri sana safari yetu ilikuwa kidogo alikuwa anajaribu kutuliwaza no. E, lakini hatimaye zile juhudi zetu za kumpeleka hospitali nini alikuja mwisho akatuambia stop. Okay. Wacheni tulieni hmm. msimsumbue tena mama. Wow. Msimsumbue mama tena. Kwa hiyo wow. hamna 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 chochote cha maana mnachoweza kumfanyia sasa hivi hmm. uh, isipokuwa kumwacha apumzike. Hmm. Kwa hiyo mwacheni akae nyumbani mumuuguze nyumbani e, mpaka siku yake. Wow. Hana muda mrefu ana kama mwezi mmoja hivi. Mm-hmm kwa hiyo aliposema vile yule daktari na alikuwa nasi katika hii safari kwa muda mrefu tukamsikiza mm. na tukasema acha tumwache mama wow. sasa tukao tunakaa naye nyumbani tumebadilisha kabisa kile chumba kimekuwa kama kliniki mm. tumeka kitanda cha hospitali mato za hospitali kila kitu e, tuko naye pale wow. kunaye daktari anaweza kumtembelea mara moja akirudi mpaka siku yake ile ya mwisho ambapo mm-hmm. nilikuwa niko nje kidogo lakini kakango mkubwa alikuwa pale dadangu Rosina alikuwa pale e, nikapigiwa simu nikaambiwa amezidiwa mama katika harakati za kukimbia pia nikaita ambulance. Okay. E, sasa ambulance ikaja mbio pale. Tulikuwa na rafiki yangu nakumbuka Jalas. Nikamwambia Jalas kabisa e, mimi na Jalas tukatafuta haraka haraka ambulance ikatutangulia. Ika, ika, ika mm-hmm. e, nikafika pale na tulipofika tukapata mama unajua nasi wangu mke wangu pia ni nasi. Okay. Sasa alikua pale akaniambia ashaenda. Ashaenda. Pole ni pole ni kaka. Na, na. na Mungu aendelee kuwa kuwa pa faraja. Asante. Mm. Um, from that time though you made a very important decision. Ukasema utaacha kukunywa pombe. What was the um, relation with that with with what you went through na na pombe? Tena nilikuwa nainywa Joyce, si mchezo. <laughs> <laughs> ah nilikuwa napiga. Uh. Nilikuwa nakata maji sana. Uh. Uh, nilikuwa nanywa. Si haba. <laughs> si haba. Lakini yeye mamangu alikuwa ananiambia sana. Mm. Alikuwa ananiambia wewe wacha tu mm. anaambia hii itakusaidia nini pombe nah. alikuwa ananiambia mara nyingi sana na si yeye tu paka babangu mzazi alikuwa yeah. ananiambia nakumbuka hata wakati mmoja babangu mzazi alisema akawa ananiambia tulikaa naye kule nyumbani taita kinyesha mvua akaniambia mazuri mengi duniani mabaya wayatafutia nini mm. alright mazuri mengi duniani mabaya yeah. wayatafutia nini mm. e, kwa mfano pombe ile unayopenda eh? mimi nilikuwa napenda whisky sana mm. chupa moja ile ambayo mimi naweza na nunua mm. nikinunua kwa Wines and Spirits ilikuwa ni Um, kama elfu nane hivi. Ah. Kwa Wines and Spirits, chupa moja. Na wakati mimi nilikuwa na chapombe nilikuwa na chupa nzima mimi. Wow. Napiga whisky chupa nzima. Sasa yeye akaniambia chupa moja na kwa ba ambapo nilikuwa naenda sana na yanainywa. Ilikuwa ni kama 1011 kupanda. 1011 1013 eneo lengine 
eh, siwezi kuitaja kwa sababu ya kuwa yeah. advertise bure <laughs> lakini ananiambia babangu hii ni shilingi 1011 okay hii pakiti ya maziwa ni shilingi ngapi hamsini. Sasa hii inakuongezea nini? Eh. Hii inakuwa usigizi mwingi, eh. mbani haurudi mapema, eh. watoto wako huwaoni, eh. unaweza kusana na mke wako umelala nje, eh. unaelewa? Eh. Yaani unaweza pata ajali. Eh. Huku, huku kwingine afya bora zaidi, pesa kidogo. Ni alikuwa anatulia mifano kila siku nasema ah siku moja nitawacha usijali. Mm. Na mamangu pia alikuwa ananiambia kila siku acha tu pombe, acha tu. Mimi sipendi ukinywa pombe. Yeah. Napenda kila kitu unachofanya, napenda unavolinda familia yako, unavuajali watu wako. Pombe wacha tu haijawahi kusaidia mtu hata mmoja mm. hakuna hata mtu mmoja atasimama leo asimi mimi pombe imenisaidia hakuna kwa hivyo yeah. wacha tu wow. sasa nikawa namwambia nitawacha siku moja na nilikuwa nimeweka ahadi kwamba siku moja e, nitaiwacha na ataiona na atafurahia okay. sasa bahati mbaya akaniacha kabla niwache lakini nikasema ah ewala kwa vile ameenda naamini mahali alipo anafurahia bado uliweka hiyo ahadi basi nikaiwacha na zile zilikuwa nyumbani zote mm. nikazipeana Aya. kwa wale ambao bado wanaendelea kuenjoy nikawapatia wale mimi nikaacha nayo kabisa na na niliwacha kabisa marafiki zangu wengi walikuwa hawaamini mm. ni wale wale tu kwa hiyo tunakutana Ijumaa mahali mkahawani kwenye sherehe lakini mimi nanywa maji kila hawakuamini mpaka mwezi baada wa pili wa tatu wa nne sasa hivi nafikiri naelekea mwezi wa sita. wow well eh, done well done Asante. na at least pia mfuko unafurahi Mfuko pia unafurahi? Eh. Hela ambayo nimeokoa nafurahia na shukuru Mungu jamani. Sirudi tena. Usirudi na usirudi. Mm. Basi nasikia at 2022 labda eh, sijui tutakuona mahali uko undani sijui ka utaikimbilia kiti. Wengi wanasema hivyo kule undani. Wengi wanasema hivyo marafiki zangu, paka viongozi viongozi wale wa pale undani wananiambia mwakideo bana we vipi jo nyumbani mm -hmm. rodi home. Mm -hmm. E, fanya siasa, ingia na kadhalika. Sio kitu ambacho nimekifikiria sana, lakini okay. kusema kweli huo msukumo upo. Okay. Sita kudanganya. Upo okay. sana. Nikienda nyumbani upo sana. Okay. Kiasi cha kwamba hata nikienda kanisani utakuta watu tayari wameanza kuni kunipeleka ile na mimi ni mtu wa kawaida tu jamani. Kwa hiyo sijafikiria hayo maswala lakini yeah. Wakati you ukifika, never you never know. You yes, you never know. You never know. You never know. You never know. Juu sisi pia tunasema we need good leadership, we need young people in those positions. So labda basi nafasi ukipewa chukua. Nikipewa nafasi nitaanza kuchukua. Ah, ya basi. Well now tell me, you know what this week, eh, earlier this week ulianzisha yeah. the Lord's Prayer challenge. Yes. A very interesting challenge. Niambie what was behind your your thinking? Ulianzisha kwa nini? Ilikuwa Sunday mm -hmm. na mimi kama kawaida yangu Um, ratiba yangu ya kuamka ni kiamka asubuhi ala bikilia na kaa kwa matres kwanza naomba mm -hmm. okay nikiomba mimi kawaida wananza na sala ya bwana mm -hmm. kawaida yangu tu naanza na baba yetu liye jumbuguni jina lako litukuzwe naomba na maliza mm -hmm. e, nasema ombi langu familia yangu na yombea na watu kadhalika nikimaliza ndo naingia bathroom sasa mm -hmm. alafu ndo siku yangu inaanza ni kawaida ni ratiba yangu ya kila siku yeah. sasa on sunday nilipoamka ni kataka kwenda kujisaidia kwa hiyo nikaingia bathroom kwanza nilipoingia bathroom nilipotoka nikapata mke wangu pia ashamka sasa akakoroga ile ratiba kidogo mm -hmm. ashamka sasa ah, nikamsalimia good morning of course akaniambia good morning babe nini nini nikajikuta hiyo ratiba yangu imeharibika kabisa uh -huh. maana yeye anapiga sala peke yangu mimi okay. kama yeye amelala okay. sasa ile ratiba ilipoharibika nikajiambia ah leo kwa mara ya kwanza nimesema good morning babe as my first, my first, my first words eh. of the day because uh -huh. normally my first words of the day are baba yetu uliye jumbi nguni uh -huh. jina lako litukuzwe uh -huh. those are my first words of the day okay, okay? before i start off my okay. day okay. so nikasema leo for the first time nimesema good morning babe eh. as my first words kidogo nikasema ah kwa hiyo ah, hii imenikoroga sana nikasema <laughs> kwa sababu sijaomba leo <laughs> basi wacha wa kila mtu aombe <laughs> I like Wata it. But what to know wali, wali jibu, they wali responded. Jibu. Wali jibu. And I think it's a great challenge yeah. especially ukiona you know the times that we are in watu wame, yes. wameogopa sana na hii corona. Yes. Uh, maisha yamekuwa magumu zaidi. Kwele. Watu wanapoteza kazi, wanapoteza hela, Kwele. biashara zinaanguka. So it was a good it was a good challenge, very Kwele. very appropriate Kwele. to do. And in fact we have some of those clips. Hata mimi mwenyewe niliifanya. Mm, <laughs> Nilipenda ile yako ya mziki pale. Eh, nilimba. Nilimba hiyo Lord's challenge. And in fact we're going to show you some of those clips now. Uh, do enjoy this uh, and we'll be back with with Alex in just a bit. Yo, mambo vipi? Ni asubuhi njema ambayo Bwana ametenda. Na nimeona challenges mingi sana online. Um, na hii ndo challenge yangu. Mimi nataka tukiwa nyumbani, especially ni Sunday kama leo. 
um, challenge yangu ya leo um, tuombe the lord's prayer okay naweza kuomba kwa lugha ya mama naweza kuomba kwa kiingereza unaweza kuomba kwa Kiswahili but this is my challenge to you so let's do this mimi nitaifanya kwa Kiswahili maana natoka Mombasani sio baba yetu uliye juu mbinguni jina lako litukuzwe thy kingdom come that will be done on earth as it, as it is it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread when we get to work kwa wene jogo matimoni marach kikitero akarte mtowaro ericho nikachpini roth giteko giduo inmagi ignigigni amen So as you've seen from those clips there I mean it's really nice yani watoto wa mama hey, wa baba asante sana did thank you, you did so you much did you think it would go that far no i didn't <laughs> i didn't kabisa kufikiria in fact i get very good feedback from i mean my dm people uh-huh. saying hey, mazi, at least for the first time a challenge i can do uh-huh. you know challenge zuri uh, you know that you know people are doing yes. for the first time so a many people, very good feedback actually mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so yeah i want to take this opportunity kusema asante sana nyote pamoja na wewe pia kwa kushiriki asante asante na basi tukimaliza maybe unaweza tuelezea you know what can we expect from you what are you hoping to do of course 2020 imekuwa na juchini kidogo but uh, you know as we trust god to to lead us out of this whole pandemic um maybe kuna kitu unaweza ambia mafans wako eh, hata nchi mm. kwa jumla wa wakati huu you know as we are struggling with this um what would be your words to to the nation kuna story naipenda sana umesema as we st- as we trust god to you know make things happen yeah. kuna story naipenda sana ile yule mtoto ambaye babake alikuwa ni pilot mm-hmm. sasa yule mtoto uh, siku moja babake kwa sababu walikuwa hana mtu wa kukaa naye mtoto akamwambia basi ingia leo twende na wewe pamoja mm-hmm. kwa hiyo babake akawa anaendesha ile ndege na kukatokea dhoruba kali mm-hmm. ndege kutingisika na kadhalika watu kulia ku scream panic and everything na mtoto alikuwa amelala kabisa miaka kama minne mitatu hivi amelala usingizi mm-hmm. waswahili wanasema usingizi wa pono mm-hmm. Sasa kule kulala kwake e, wale hostess wakakimbia kujaribu kuangalia mtoto wa pilot vipi tumsort na kila kitu wanamwamsha yule mtoto akamwambia vipi wewe walala na ndege yanguka hii <laughs> mtoto akaamka tu akauliza babangu bado ndio rubani we babangu bado ndio rubani akaambia yeah. hivi babaku akasema basi na cheni nilale mimi wow. akaendelea kulala wow. na eventually ndege ilitua yeah. na watu wakashuka wakaenda zao kwa hiyo yeah. wakati kama huu mimi nimekuwa na hashtag moja nasema 2020 must be different mm. Mungu mbe Mungu mbele 2020 must be different. Mm-hmm. Kwa hiyo haijalishi ni msingi wako tu uko wapi. Kama yeah. msingi wako uko eh, imara mm-hmm. eh, na Mungu yuko imara mm-hmm. katika maisha yako basi usipanik so. sana mm-hmm. tulia. Mm-hmm. Tulia ndege itatua hatimaye mm-hmm. na abiria watashuka na kila mtu atafika nyumbani. Well said. Well said. Alex, thank you so much for coming to the show. Nashukuru sana. It's been a great conversation with you. Na kabla uende labda kuna watu wana, wangependa kukufuata yani hapo kwa social media. What are your handles? Instagram Alex underscore Makideu, mm-hmm. Twitter Alex underscore Makideu, mm-hmm. um, Facebook Alex Makideu. Haya basi nashukuru. Mungu aendelee kukubariki. Asante. And uh, we hope to see you again here on Full Circle with Joyce. Thank You're you always so welcome. Much. Haya basi. He, Sadik. Sinime ka- sweat na hiyo swahili. Umejika kamua na Kiswahili. <laughs> <laughs> Nimekamua every word I know but you know I think I've done okay. Ah, You've done well. Ah, <laughs> come, on, <laughs> come on. I've represented my people up up anyway but it's okay. Ah uh, Sadiq, uh, please take us to break. What do you have for us? Yote yaliisha kwa msalaba David Wanda. All right, let's do it.